I'm Michelle Deshawn with the Barberton Herald, and I'm here with Nicholas Rote, and he is a senior at Barberton High School, and we are here because he won the Judge Judy Ultimate High School Graduation Essay Contest, and so Judge Judy is going to be speaking at graduation May 25th. Right. So can you explain um, what the contest was? And the question, I'll read the question here. Um, says, to enter, tell us in 250 words or less how the people, programs, or special spirit at your school make it stand out from the rest. Okay, so the, uh, the contest is run by Judge Judy, and it is an attempt by her to be able to meet some of her fans, and um, particularly younger fans. Um, I found out about the contest last year, because I'm, I'm a fan of the show, I watch it most days when I get home from school, and um, I... Uh, I found out about it last year, a girl in West Virginia won the contest, mm -hmm. and I watched the speech, and I thought that was really cool. Um, and even back then I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if this happened with us? So when, uh, when it launched, which was in January, I went ahead and I entered it. Now the essay I wrote, I, um, I didn't think it was very hard, because I love Barberton, I've always loved Barberton, and I don't ever plan to leave. I love this city, um, and we have a lot of pride here. Um, and this high school, we we have so many great opportunities here. We have so many great programs offered. So 250 words was not a lot. I had to uh, be very frugal with what I said. Mm -hmm. But I, uh, I kind of broke it into three parts. The first part, I talked about our name, the Magics. And I talked about um, where we got the name, which was from, mm -hmm. I believe, a Beacon Journal reporter in the, early, in the late 1800s because of our um, giant population growth from one visit to the next. Um, and I talked about how that still applies today, how we're always, you know, doing great things here. Um, you know, our sports teams, our um, band, all that stuff does great things. It makes history every day. Uh, the second part, I really tried to highlight all of the programs we have available to us here. I've taken um, College Credit Plus classes for, um, I took five semesters of it, and um, I also have been involved heavily involved with the band program. But in addition to all of that, we also have we have AP classes, we have the Four Cities Compact, we have um, internships available for anyone. Basically, whether you want to go to college, into the military, or straight into the workforce, there's something for everybody here offered, and I think that's great. Um, so I try to talk about just all the different things we have offered here. Um, all the sports teams, I mentioned how great our football team did. Um, and then the final part of the essay, I talked about how prideful we are here in Barbara, and I talked about how um, for the football season this year, every game, the stadiums were just full, screaming fans who were supporting the team. Um, the student section, I, I talked about the student section also, and I mentioned how um, at, the, at the game that was before September 11th, everyone wore red, white, and blue. That one really stuck with me. I thought that was incredible that, that we did that. Um, but everybody, um, was, I've, with my dad being in the Sports Hall of Fame, I've had the chance to meet a lot of the um, older generations of Barbertonians who are at um, like the Hall of Fame banquet and events like that. And I think they're incredible people to learn from, and um, they're so prideful. And I'm, I'm just happy to be a part of that mm -hmm. in the city. Um, but I, I, that's, that was the main part of the third part, was um, the pride that we have in the city. Okay. And I really thought that... Um, for how unique we are, we would stand out to Judge Judy, and we, we, we apparently did. Oh. Please. Now, tell us about your reaction to being selected. Well, I was, like I said, I was, I, I thought we could stand out to her, but again, this was so big that I, that there was the other part of me was like, I, I won't win this. But when I found out, it was one of those things where I just kind of froze, and like, mm -hmm. I, I had to reread the email about three or four times, <laughs> and then, um, after I just became so excited, I, I'm. It's finally become a reality. At first, I couldn't believe it, but then mm -hmm. now it's a reality that she's actually coming. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just excited. I can't wait to meet her. I can't wait to talk to her. Um, and I just I couldn't believe it, but I'm very happy that this is going to happen to for our community. Okay. So you will get to meet her. Yes. Uh, I, I is don't, that part of? I believe so. Okay. I, I, I don't know all the details, mm -hmm. but I think before the ceremony I will get to meet her. Me and Mr. Mirren will get to meet her. Okay. And do you have any idea of what she'll be speaking about? Is it, you mentioned before that you saw one of her speeches from another mm -hmm. ceremony? 
Yeah. Do you think it'll be similar? Do you have any idea of what that'll be? I I really I really don't know, and that's it kind of makes it exciting because I don't mm -hmm. know for sure what she'll say. Okay. Um, last year, if I remember correctly, I think her speech was about 15 minutes in mm -hmm. um, in at the school in West Virginia she spoke at, and she talked about her life story, how she started off you know, just like everyone else and worked super hard to become a uh, a prosecutor in New York, and then she was promoted to a family court judge by the mayor at the time, and then she was set to retire, and um, she had gained attention for how good she was as a judge, and was approached for her TV show. Um, so just by working hard, she became such a huge success, and on top of that, she had a family, several kids. Um, so she was very inspirational in that aspect, and she went over how... Um, just by working hard we could accomplish just as much as she has and um, um, just be successful whatever we try to do. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it'll be something along those lines, okay. um, but I'm sure she'll, she'll make it a little different to okay. it for us. All right, now can you tell us more about some activities that you're involved in mm -hmm. here at the high school? So I um, academically I'm involved in the CCP program mm -hmm. and what that is is for anyone who doesn't know that is a program where we can take University of Akron college courses um, and receive credit for both college and high school. So for example, in um, my, my sophomore year I took English Comp 1 and 2 in the fall and spring. Okay. I, um, and because I did that, I didn't have to take 10th grade English because it counted mm -hmm. as an English credit. Mm -hmm. And then I, um, when I go to college, those credits will still be there. So okay. I got to take these courses for free. and. Um, and now I'll have more time and I'll have to spend less at college. And I think that's a wonderful, wonderful program we have here. And definitely the biggest thing I've been involved in is band. I've been in band. I've been in the marching band since eighth grade. I've been in concert band since sixth grade. And um, every year I try to do as much as I can, become a better musician. And I'm my majoring in music. At, okay. I'm going to Kent State in the fall. Okay. And I'll be majoring in music education. And my goal is to become a middle school or high school band director. Okay. So band is definitely the thing I'm going to take away most from high school because I've just mm -hmm. spent so much time in it. And it's it's what I want to do as a career. Okay. Now, do you have any desire to maybe come back to Barberton and teach in this district? Absolutely. That is yeah. my dream, actually, is to okay. be able to be the Barberton band director one day. Okay.